What's up guys, just getting ready here to feed the predators. I got a handful of tilapia and we are about to feed them. Look at that red Texas here in the background. He is turning some crazy colors and I'm super excited of what he's gonna turn out to look like. That was actually like a, a mutt red Texas someone had given to me for free and it'll be interesting to see like what he turns out to be like. I just said that, didn't I? All right, let's throw this food in here. Ugh. And I'm getting splashed. Anyhow, tonight's video is on the wolf fish. And I consider the wolf fish to be at the top tier, maybe the number one most aggressive fish you can keep in an aquarium. And I have a predator battle series and a lot of people bicker back and forth. This fish is tougher, this fish would kill that fish. I honestly think the wolf fish is the meanest and just gnarliest aquarium fish you can keep. Uh, let's just jump right into this. When a person goes to do some research on the wolf fish, you actually just kind of find a lot of toxic viral videos of people stuffing fish in tanks and having them fight to the utter death. But I really don't agree with that. And it's really important to do the proper research when getting yourself a crazy predator fish like this. First and foremost, when trying to get or buy a wolf fish, this is probably one of those fish that your aquarium store or your local fish store isn't going to have on hand. And you're going to be faced with probably special ordering this fish from your fish store or buying it online. And that's where you should probably do some in-depth research on what types of wolf fish to get because some of them can get up to like 40 pounds and they can get insanely large. And if you get the wrong fish, it, I mean, it could be an utter nightmare essentially. Before diving head first into talking about setting up a tank and what species for you to buy when it comes to wolf fish, I first want to talk about the complaints that a lot of fish keepers have that keep wolf fish because it's really worth knowing and you've probably come to this video because you're thinking about getting a wolf fish and you're doing some research which is completely awesome and the right move. But first, uh, the biggest complaint people say when, buy when owning these fish is number one, they are nocturnal and have kind of like instincts to come out more at night and at dusk and such like that. Like when the lights go out, that's when they're going to be most active. And that being said, uh, you you can also not keep tank mates with wolf fish. This is probably pretty obvious to most of you guys, but at night especially because they'll just attack their predator while the other fish is sleeping and it's like just easy prey because they're just that's when they're moving and it's just it's it's utterly going to happen and a lot of people turn on their lights for the next day and the fish is dead this is a species only tank guys and the last complaint fish keepers had was that these fish are completely boring it is commonly called the log because the fish just sits there like a log would inside of an aquarium and it literally does nothing that goes hand in hand with it being nocturnal and it's going to be doing most of its moving at night so i understand these videos of this live feeding look really cool and this is an active fish but it is said that these fish just do nothing completely nothing until it comes feeding time and that's when it's really cool to own a wolf fish but that's about it i'm not trying to downplay the idea of you getting a wolf fish but it's just really what i have learned over the years is i i don't ask what's the coolest thing about keeping fish when i'm asking experienced fish keepers of a fish that they already own it's important to ask you know like what are the battles what like what it what like what becomes monotonous and boring for you when it comes to keeping up with the fish what are disappointments and th those are really the things to ask all right so now that i have all the preaching off my chest let's talk about getting an actual wolf fish when you go to your fish store to, to special order a wolf fish or maybe by some chance they have one on hand or somebody maybe someone's getting rid of one it is most likely from the family the hopliest family it comes from and there is a more common wolf fish known as the eerie eerie it's probably one of the most uh popular also known as the red wolf fish um, what makes them so popular is they don't grow as large as the other ones. They max out at around 8 inches. It's common for people to keep them in like planted tanks. And it makes for an awesome predator fish because they stay small. 
uh, you can keep in a, keep them in a planted tank, and they're just absolutely ferocious feeders. They're predators, carnivorous. All of these wolf fish are carnivores and are going to need tons and tons of protein. And there's a couple other species within that family, and some of them get to like 28 inches. Some of them get to 20 to 25, and uh, you're going to need a big tank for some of these other ones, like the black wolf fish. Uh, it is said that around 200 gallons and it's going to grow at one inch per month depending on how much you feed them. You can kind of slow that down if you're trying to try to like upgrade tank size. I hear that a lot from people. You know, as far as the wolf fish is concerned, um, I'll come out in the clear with this. I've had this video in the editing process for probably around 11 months. And the reason is because I've been dying to do a video on a wolf fish, but there's just not a lot of information on these fish. And it's, you know, it's really tough to find footage of them because I think a lot of people get these fish and then they, something happens in their tank and they die on them. It's, this is a really common fish to have. I don't know what the parameters are that it's happening, but there, there doesn't seem to be a lot of people keeping these fish and there's not a lot of videos on YouTube and such. And um, they're, they're, even on monsterfishkeepers.com, there just isn't a whole lot of information, even though this is probably said to be one of the most predator aquarium fish to keep. So it's kind of, I feel like there's a misunderstood variable that everybody isn't talking about. Maybe these fish don't do necessarily very well in tanks because the only video footage I could get my hands on in which you're watching is mostly juvenile fish. And... Uh, you know, that's to be said because I, I cannot even find, even on Facebook, YouTube, there is not many videos on the internet in, in entirety that of adult wolf fish. So maybe these fish aren't meant to be kept in tanks. It's kind of a really odd deal to me. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Maybe you actually have a full-size wolf fish and you're wanting to send me a video because I would absolutely love that. Um, uh, as you can see here, this guy has his mouth just utterly stuffed with tilapia flays. These things are, uh, just crazy predators and you can just see the razor sharp teeth that they have. And it seems he has the lights off when he's doing this feeding. So, um, he, he, he probably knows that these fish are nocturnal. Uh, and they have instincts to hunt more at night. And I'm guessing that it's easier hunting at night because a lot of fish are sleeping. They're just, they're, they're kind of dozing off and it's just an easy strike. I also want to apologize. I know there was some, some live feeding footage in this video. Hopefully that doesn't offend you guys. I know a lot of you guys are into predator fish, but I, I just want to apologize. I usually don't post that stuff, but I'm really, uh, like I said, light. I'm really light on video footage for the wolf fish. So I, I just tried to use as much as I could. I want to give a huge shout out to those that let me use these videos. It's been like just months and months and months that I've had this video in the editing process. And I, I feel like, like I said before, there's just so much unknown about these fish. And uh, well, at least the eerie, eerie red wolf, I think we know a lot about because they, they stay smaller and they do better in tanks. But like the black wolf fish and such, and the, and the common wolf, I, I just feel like there's something that we're missing when keeping these things in tanks. Maybe that, you know, because a lot of times people are keeping monster predator tanks, big, big tanks, and I think they try to put a wolf fish in there. And I think things go south somewhere. And I don't know, let me know what you think. Maybe I'm way off, maybe this is stupid. Uh, it's just my opinion. I'm just blabbing here on the microphone while I'm watching some cool footage. <sighs> this is, uh, I, wish, I wish I had more video footage, but this is what it is. And let me know what you guys think. Whoop, whoop.